Yuri and I here. We're going to go over high and low pressure. So we're trying to hit the different weather forecasting topics, one with each video each day. So this first one, um, these sections go in order. This is from your notes. The, the notes fact sheet goes in order with your weather cycler, but we're jumping around a little bit as far as the different topics that we're covering. So if we scroll down to high and low pressure, it's pretty straightforward, okay? So the basics with pressure, if I take Yuri, you okay being our, he's okay being the volunteer. If I take Yuri and push Yuri down to the ground, okay? And Yuri gets squeezed down to the ground, there's a lot of pressure on Yuri. That's high pressure. Yuri's putting pressure on the desk, okay? And if Yuri floats on up, if Yuri could fly, Yuri wouldn't be putting any pressure on the desk. That's low pressure. So that's all pressure is. It's when air in the atmosphere is either pushing down on the ground, sinking, or rising up and um, kind of floating. That's low pressure. So high pressure is when it pushes on the ground. Low is when it rises. Now you'll see that different ways. The side view, like land breeze and sea breeze show that. Low pressure is like hot air. During the day, the beach gets really hot, so the air rises up. And at night, the beach gets cold, so the air starts to sink. Sinking air is high pressure. You need to be able to draw these. So if we take our sheet here and we zoom in just a tiny bit, okay, the two pressures that you have to draw, low pressure is drawn, draw, drawn. <laughs> with red because it's hot air, okay? So this is a low pressure system. High pressure's drawn with blue because it's cold air. Cold air sinks, hot air rises, okay? So we've got two types of pressure. You have to memorize this next part. Just like I draw an L, let me draw a couple L's over here. See how I draw the L? See how I draw the L? One more time, I think we all draw our L's that way, okay? That's the way that wind circulates around a low. It goes this way, which is called counterclockwise, okay? It's going from 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Now, to draw the arrows around an L, just like I draw that, I go like this. Okay. That's the way that the air goes around and out. It's going counterclockwise. So around an H, I just do everything exactly opposite. If you can memorize drawing the L, you can draw the H exactly opposite. Take each arrow, and instead of it going, you go that way. Take that arrow, just flip the, flip the script. Okay. So the H goes clockwise. Okay. Now, why did I draw them? This one's going in and that one's going out. Wind blows from highs to lows. Look at that. It rhymes and flows. So it's going from the high to the low. So wind blows out of the high and into the low. So that initial L that I drew, and I know that the wind is circulating this way, I know that those arrows have to tip in because it goes from highs to lows. All right. Got to memorize. That's a brain skill right there. Now, the other thing you'll have to do is you'll have to pick if there's different cities. Okay. Say this is Rome and this is Syracuse. The wind is blowing different directions on one side or the other. Say this is Rome and this is Syracuse. Okay. The wind is blowing from different directions. Here, Rome has a northwest wind. It's coming from the northwest. Syracuse has a southeast wind. So Rome is probably getting cool wind and Syracuse is getting warmer wind because it's coming from the south. Here, it's the opposite. Rome is getting warm air to come up and Syracuse is getting cool air to come down. The air is coming from the northwest there. I'm not sure if I said north. This is coming from the northwest. Hopefully I said that. I don't know. But this is northwest wind. 
southeast wind. So the wind is coming from different directions. So as a low pressure advances towards Rome, the pressure's dropping and it's going to have a wind shift. Once this gets over to here, as this whole low pressure moves over, Rome will now be getting the same wind that Syracuse was getting. So the wind changes based off of where you are now. And then in the future, you can use wind. All weather blows from west to east. So anything that Syracuse is getting, Rome will eventually get. So that's how you make the predictions with the wind. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if there's any questions. Yuri, puff him back up from getting all squeezed up. Okay, so just think of Yuri. Air is pushing down. Air sinks when it's cold. That's high pressure. Air rises up when it's warm. That's low pressure. Wind blows from highs 